Military leaders, lawmakers, and experts from all over the world are gathering in Canada for the Halifax International Security Forum. It takes place annually in mid-November. Peter Van Praag is the president of the forum. Peter, welcome to the program. Glad to be here, Mimi. So what is the Halifax International Security Forum? So um, we're, we are, despite the name, we're a Washington, D.C.-based organization. Um, but every year we meet in Halifax, Canada. Um, it really is a meeting for defense ministers, um, experts, people from civil society, um, from all around the world. But the distinction, Mimi, is that it's really for the good guys. Um, we've, we, we've never had a Russian government, Chinese government, Iranian government. It's an opportunity once a year for the good guys come, to come together with American leadership and make plans for the year ahead. So you were, obviously Ukraine is going to be a big topic of discussion, and you were in Ukraine right when Russia was invading. What were you doing there, and what did you see? Um, Mimi, I, I was there. I landed on February 23rd. I went uh, just to deliver a message to um, the government. I, I was in the president's office, President Zelensky's office, on the 23rd. Um, and then overnight um, was when um, President Putin's Russia invaded uh, Ukraine. And I, I left uh, with the help of, of Ukrainians, just regular po folks. And what I saw that day was really a steely resolve. Um, and when I got out and came back and said, Ukraine is not going to fall. Ukraine is going to fight. People, people who hadn't been there and seen what I had seen were doubtful. But now we know um, with President Zelensky's leadership, the Ukrainians have stood firm. But you had also predicted Putin would lose. Yeah. How do you define losing? And do you still believe he, that? He's already lost. Mimi, he's already lost. Um, what happened was, um, you know, after after we uh, left Afghanistan, and I can go back even further. You know, the world changed on 9/11, um, and uh, you know, everybody knows what happened. This, that, and the other in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mistakes were made, um, and uh, and then last year uh, uh, we saw the United States and its allies leave Afghanistan. And I think what the signal then to Mr. Putin was. The West, the United States, it's not going to stand up uh, if I take Ukraine. Um, and by the way, he might have been right. Who stood up? The Ukrainians stood up. President Zelensky stood up. And in return, NATO and the United States have stood firm. And you think it's as a result of their resolve? Yes, it is not a result. If Putin had gone through and won quickly, um, we all would have been scratching our heads what to do next. But it is because President Zelensky and the Ukrainians have stood firm that we have stood firm with them and are providing them the material support that they need. And this has been a shock to the Russians. The Russians have lost more troops in the last nine months than they lost in the entire war in Afghanistan during the 1970s. They, they are in bad, bad trouble. They are hurting. And we are going to be facing a, a world with a much reduced Russia. And we need to make plans for that. Your organization created a Ukraine Victory Fund. Yes, we did. What is that, and why did you create it? Um, we, cre we created that um, early on, uh, assessing what the needs were. At that time, the Ukrainians were depending on satellite imagery from governments and, and corporations, and they weren't seeing what they wanted to see themselves. So we raised money to work with a company called Satellogic to launch missi uh, missiles, to launch satellites uh, that the Ukrainians could see and uh, what they wanted to see when they wanted to see it. And that's made a big difference in a number of areas. You said that, you know, uh, Russia was shocked at Ukraine's resolve. The West was shocked. Was China shocked as well? Yes. China was shocked, and China is still shocked, and China is reeling. All of these things, let me just say this, Mimi. Um, Ukraine's going to be successful, and the United States and the American people should be very proud of what, uh, what we are doing to help support. Uh, Make no, make no mistake, the Ukrainians need our, need our support. And in my view, we need to continue uh, su supporting Ukraine as, as best we can. Why? Because every other challenge in the world, including in East Asia and what China is doing, um, becomes much, much more difficult if Putin is successful in Ukraine. So uh, Volodymyr Zelensky and the Ukrainian people are really fighting our fight, and they are paving the way to make uh, Americans uh, view of the world um, uh, easier going forward. 
So what other themes are you going to be talking about this year at the Forum? Well, you know, the world is in flux. Uh, but like I just said, everything, the world changed uh, um, on February 24th of this year. Um, and it really is an opportunity for the United States and its allies to, and we don't get these opportunities, to often to um, regroup and to move forward uh, and learn the lessons of the last 20 years um, and, and meet these challenges. So we'll be talking about East Asia. We'll be talking about China, of course. Uh, um, we're going to be talking about what is going on in Iran. Uh, what's going on in Iran is a revolution, um, and there's going to be changes there. And so what's happened in February with the Russian invasion is that everything is a little bit in flux. Um, everybody, um, nobody really understood how weak Russia was, how its military was. Now we've seen that, and countries that have been depending on Russia for a long time are alarmed. They don't know what they're going to do next. And so really we are starting a new era on the wor in the world. All right. Well, I'm uh, looking forward to hearing how it goes. Thank you so much, Peter, for being on the program. Thanks so much, Mimi. This was fantastic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future Government Matters interviews.